Oh, now he finishes photo shooting. <laughs> 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 We're good? Yep. Yeah, when um, we finally made it to the last game of the, of the season, does it feel like the season, regular season ending here? Um, definitely. Um, but, you know, just excited. Excited to, to get the playoffs going. And it's been a long season, but it's been a fun one, so it doesn't feel that long. Um, but yeah, definitely looking forward to the playoffs. You speak about the progress you guys have made from day one to right now. What's been the biggest key you think? I think just learning from each other. We we changed the group uh, quite a bit from last year. We have some some stable pieces as well, and we brought in guys that, that make a difference. So just learning to to adapt to them and you know, just play the game around them and learn from each other and uh, to the good in the back, uh, keep improving. You said, to, I mean, it's a good. You, having, you guys having a good season, so it doesn't feel as long. But compared to last year, how did last year feel? <laughs> last year, <laughs> the week felt like a little preseason, getting ready for the for the season every weekend. And uh, you know, when you're losing, uh, that feeling of losing a game, uh, you can feel it through the whole week. So uh, I guess that's what makes the weeks long. And and there's a lot of joy around uh, this year's team. So uh, it's been easy. Edwin, uh, playing with this team and the way that it plays, how do you think it has enhanced your game? Um, it's helped me keep my game simple. Um, I think I do the, I do things pretty simple and make it look easy. And obviously, that's because I have players around me uh, that can take over games. So it's up to me to just do my role and do what's asked of me, and, and let the guys play and enjoy watching them do their thing. Do you feel like uh, you've evolved as a as a holding midfielder this year? And, yeah. And if so, what, what, in what ways? I think just being more efficient, uh, efficient with my movements, um, on and off the ball, defensively, uh, learn how we want to defend and in key moments uh, to stop plays, which is which is kind of my job to put out fires and uh, kill counterattacks. And I think that's my positioning defensively, um, especially with all the players that we have up top. Transition moments are, are crucial, and um, it's my job to kind of minimize those. Um, story that I'm working on for next week. Um, how important has Gabriel Peck been to you guys this year? Yeah, he's been um, not only for us, but I'm sure as fans, it's, uh, it's a joy to watch him. It's a joy to play with him. But I think we can all agree. Um, he's a player who, who we can rely on to take over games. Uh, you know, we have Ricky, Marco, all these guys. So. A game in particular uh, out on the wing, uh, you never know what he can do. And he'll take two guys on, three guys on, and then score a goal. So it's been special to watch him uh, and knowing we have him to kind of create something out of nothing and everybody feed into his game. And him playing off the, you know, Marco, Ricky, Dayan, and Joski, we just have a, a top group up there. When you look at his game, what are the elements that you most admire? Uh, how direct he is and how he gets up to speed and, and how he dribbles with the ball. Obviously, he goes at defenders uh, one v one at, at a high pace and he's very tricky. He's very tricky and uh, he has this Brazilian flair to him and we see it in training when he does flicks and tricks and uh, you know, it's, it's enjoyable to watch but he's also very efficient uh, with how he plays. One thing that's uh, remarkable about him is how many times he has scored your first goal of the game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that starts with, with training as well. Uh, like I said, he gets he gets going. Uh, he's exciting. He's young, and he likes to show off his skills. So I think when the game is ramped up and he starts to play it right away, uh, the outside backs don't know what to do with him. Have you, you had any one v one matchups with him in training? Uh, I did, and Tucker did. Tucker did too. Tucker oh. locked him up. <laughs> Gabe, left back. <laughs> <laughs> what, what was it like going up against him? No, like I said, it's just so direct, so you kind of back off as much as you can. Uh, it gets you closer. You're, you're, you're pretty much done, yeah. <laughs> Josh, you could go ahead. Edwin, obviously you're, you're looking forward to the playoffs, but you guys have this game coming up on Saturday where, uh, you know, if you get a point or better, you guys clinch that top spot in the West. How much of a priority is that for the team right now? Uh, it's our biggest priority right now, I'd say. Um, you know, the playoffs start in a couple of weeks, but um, for us, it starts this weekend. A point's crucial um, to solidify the top of the West, and that's where we want to be, uh, playing in front of our fans and uh, using them to give us energy um, early in the game, late in the game, whenever we need it. So um, our playoffs start this weekend.
I, it feels like they started like four or five games ago too, right? <laughs> with, with everything going on. Yeah, uh, and we no, just yeah, go ahead. Oh, and uh, just as a team, we we know that the past couple of weeks have been crucial, so um, we've kind of already been in that mentality. And it's it, it seems like looking at that game against Houston and, and sort of paying attention, it feels like everything this year. You guys have been in first a lot, but it hasn't always been easy. You guys have had to earn all the points. You've had to really fight for it. Does it make sense that the last game is also hard? That you know everything about this year seems to be like you guys trying to prove yourselves. Yeah, and I think, like you said, it's, that's been the case uh, the past couple games uh, where we had a live see and ourselves so kind of uh, behind us and stealing points from each other, um, dropping points as well, and um, you know all to play for this weekend. And I think that just. It's a good thing for us to uh, be prepared for when the actual playoffs start and just to get in that rhythm and get into that mentality of, you know, we need to go out there and get a result away from home and uh, show people what we're about. Thanks. Appreciate it. Thank you. And we'll close with Rob. Hey, Edwin. Uh, good morning. Thanks for your time. Um, at the beginning of the year, and, and you know, just to kind of piggyback off uh, what Josh was asking, you know, proving yourselves and, and that whole concept. At the beginning of the year, no pundits, no media personalities gave the Galaxy a shot. Uh, some were putting this team as low as 13th, saying they were going to miss the playoffs. Did you guys use that as motivation at all during the season, or were you guys looking at, at outside sources or really just pushing yourselves? Thanks. Um, yeah, I think all the media stuff is it comes from people that aren't with us day to day and you know um, Aren't being coached and training the way we do so all the outside noise is pretty much just outside noise and uh, we have a team that uh, Believes in each other and you know, we're good enough to to do great things. So all the social media things uh, aren't something that We necessarily uh, think about When that's worth in Houston Edwin. Thank you Last question for me. Uh, you have a handful of season uh, ticket members going to this game, so it's going to be a good fan base of ours out there. Any message to the fans for you, from you? Uh, not just the fans uh, that are traveling to this game, but the, ch the fans that have traveled to every game, even if there's only one of them. Uh, it's been special for us to know um, the sacrifice the fans make to, to come out and show out no matter where we are. And, uh, that's a big takeaway for me this season, uh, the support that we have from our fans. And, it's been greatly appreciated and uh, we need it more, more now than ever.